anybody can achieve. I believe that, but very few do. In fact, it's about 3% of the population tend to become really successful top achievers, highly effective people. Bad news, 3%. Here's the good news. Anyone can, very few do. Be a doer. People say, David, you're a positive thinker. I am not a positive thinker. You ask my wife, she'll say I'm a miserable, grumpy, middle-aged man. It's true, I'm a grumpy, middle-aged man. However, I'm a positive doer. I do stuff, get stuff done. What's your reputation? You see, if anybody can, but very few do, why don't you become a three percenter? Be more rhino. Let me tell you about a friend of mine that I interviewed for my research. His name is Nigel Vardy. He's an engineer for work, but in his free time, he just happens to be a world record holding mountaineer and explorer. He actually fell off Mount McKinley. I say that, he didn't fall off. He got caught in a crevasse, in a storm. He ended up getting severe frostbite, losing his nose, his cheek, his chin, all, most of his fingers and nearly all of his toes. He was told in recovering in hospital that he would probably never walk properly again and he definitely wouldn't be climbing. Nigel Vardy knew that anyone can achieve, but very few do, and he wanted to be one of the few. So, in hospital, with stubs for fingers, he started practicing tying the knots with his rope that he had to learn again. And he became the first Briton and the only, at the time, disabled person to have climbed the seven highest mountains on the seven islands of the world. The guy is impressive. His attitude was all around, keep making decisions. Do you keep making decisions? Do you make decisions or do you just go, hmm? Do you keep making decisions or do you just go, hmm, I'll try? Nigel Vardy kept making decisions. Now let me tell you about Camelisa. Camelisa Nuttall was from Trinidad and Tobago. Her and her mother used to put food on the table by going to the local rubbish tip and picking out plastic, glass and tin and having it recycled. When eventually she came to the UK, she got involved in business and property management. She is now incredibly wealthy, incredibly successful, but her reason to do it is to help other people do the same. She is of service to others. So from rubbish tip to multi-millionaire. Anyone can, very few do. She's a three percenter, is Kamalita. Now let me talk to you about one of my best friends in the world, Haroon Rabani. Haroon was one of the few, well, he was in one of the few Asian families up in the northeast of England growing up as a kid. He used to get bullied physically, mentally, emotionally, and racially abused every single day. He was small, he was skinny, and he kept getting beaten up. He was dad was a Bruce Lee fan, but his dad wouldn't let Haroon have life outside of school and working in the family's takeaway. Haroon used to say that I used to smell of curry and the other children would pick on me because of it. Until I said to my dad, Dad, can I learn Kung Fu like Bruce Lee? Sure enough, he packed him off to karate lessons. Haroon became a British junior kickboxing champion. He then went on to be a absolute kick-ass salesperson for a medical devices company, number one in Europe. He then and now is a professional speaker and an internet marketeer. He took massive action. He started in a place of, I can't do this. Then he realized, 3%, be more rhino. Anyone can, very few do, be one of the few. Don't follow the masses. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and hit the notification bell for more videos. Then click the TV to watch the next video. Oh, and don't forget to visit our website at davidheiner.com to claim your free audiobook. Until the next time, go Rhino. Avinit.